In our previous lecture, we have completed chapter number 13, part 1. Today we are going to start part 2. So let's begin. So students, in my previous lecture, I told you all about perimeter. And we discussed different questions based on that. So here let us do a quick recap what is a perimeter. The sum of all the sides of a rectilinear figure is called its perimeter. So what is a rectilinear figure? A plane figure bounded by a line segment is called rectilinear figure. Example, triangle, square, pentagon, hexagon etc. are rectilinear figure. Why? Because they are the plane figure bounded by the line segments. But circle is not a rectilinear figure. As you all know that a circle is round in shape. It is not made up of line segments. So it is not a rectilinear figure. Now let us do question number 1. Find the perimeter of each of the figures given below. A part. So here you can see one triangle is given. And sides are written on the boundary. So the length of the boundary or length of the outline is called perimeter. Let us add these sides. So here 6 cm plus 8 cm plus 9 cm. Sum of all the sides. How many sides it has? 3 sides. So let us add now 9 plus 8 that is 17. 17 plus 6, 23. So perimeter is 23 centimeter. Now B part. So this is the length of the boundary. Let us add all the sides given. So here 5 plus 7, 12. So let us write here 5 centimeter plus 7 centimeter plus 4 centimeter plus 4 centimeter plus 8 centimeter. So all the sides we have written 5 plus 7, 12. 12 plus 4, 16. 16 plus 4, 20. 20 plus 8, 28 centimeter. Now C part. So in this figure let us add all the sides given. First you have to write all the sides given. So here 7 centimeter plus 6 centimeter plus 5 centimeter plus 9 centimeter. So add them 7 plus 6, 13. 13 plus 5, 18. 18 plus 9, 27 centimeter. So I hope students now you are able to find out perimeter. So we will now learn to calculate perimeter by using a formula. First is perimeter of a square. So we know the property of a square that all the sides of a square are equal. So in the square shown, the perimeter will be the sum of all its sides. Perimeter will be the sum of all its sides. So perimeter is S plus S plus S plus S. That is 4 times S. It will be 4S. And students, we know that multiplication is repeated addition. So the formula is Perimeter of a square is equal to 4 into S. Perimeter of a square is equal to 4 into S. S is side. Now example, find the perimeter of a square whose side measures 6 cm each. The perimeter we have to find out and the side is 6 cm each. So first let us draw the square of 6 cm each. So here we have drawn one square. And each side is 6 cm. So write here 6 cm. So first we will write side of the square that is equal to 6 cm. Perimeter of a square that is how much the formula is 4 into Side. And here side is given 6 cm. So 6 fours are 24 cm. So students here the centimeter is a unit. How we came to know? Because here each side is 6 cm. Do not forget to mention this unit at last. 
So the answer will be perimeter of a square is 24 centimeter. Next, perimeter of a rectangle. So we know the major property of a rectangle that the opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. And all the angles are 90 degree. Angles are 90 degree. So here these angles are 90 degree. And the opposite sides L, L. Both will be same and red, red both will be same. In the rectangle shown, the perimeter will be the sum of all its sides. So the perimeter will be L plus B plus L plus B. So how many times L is coming? Two times. So we will write here 2 into L. And how many times B is coming? Two times. 2 into B. So here 2, 2 is common. And L plus B. The formula is 2 into L plus B. Or you can say here 2L plus 2B. Means 2 times L plus 2 times B. Perimeter of a rectangle is equal to 2 bracket L plus B. Example, find the perimeter of a rectangle whose length is 7 cm and breadth is 2 cm. So first we will write here what all things are given. Length is equal to 7 cm. Breadth is equal to 2 cm. Now we will write the formula. Perimeter of a rectangle is equal to 2 bracket L plus B. So students, you simply have to add length and breadth. So 7 plus 2. So right here, 2 will be as it is. Bracket you will write 7 plus 2 centimeter. Then 2 will be as it is into 7 plus 2, 9. So 2 nines are 18 centimeter. Or you can do in another way 2 into L plus 2 into breadth. Or we can do like this 2L plus 2B. 2 into length is 7 plus 2 into breadth is 2. So 7 twos are 40. Plus 2, 2 is 4. That is 18 centimeter. Both the way answer is coming same. Anyway, you can solve the perimeter of a rectangle. So before moving to perimeter of a triangle, let us discuss types of triangles based on sides. So there are three types of triangles based on sides. Number one is scalene triangle. S-C-A-L-E-N-E. -E. Scalene triangle. Number 2 is equilateral triangle. E-Q-U-I-L-A-T-E-R-E-L. -E 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 equilateral triangle. And third is isosceles triangle. I-S-O-S-C-E-L-E-S. -E -E isosceles triangle. So now let us see what is scaling triangle. A triangle in which all the sides have different measures. Example, in triangle A-B-C, all the three sides are different. 4 cm, 7 cm and 9 cm. So it is scaling triangle. Number 2 is equilateral triangle. A triangle in which all the three sides are equal. Example, triangle XYZ. All the three sides are equal and the side is 5 cm. Third is isosceles triangle. A triangle in which two sides are equal. Example, PQR is a triangle where two sides 6 cm is equal and 7 cm is different. Third is isosceles triangle. A triangle in which two sides are equal. Example, a triangle PQR. Here two sides are equal that is PQ and QR and side is 6 cm. And third side is different that is QR 7 cm. So I hope so this three types of triangles based on sides is clear. So now let us move to perimeter of a triangle. Next, perimeter of a triangle. As you all know, there are three sides in a triangle. So here AB, BC and CA are the three sides of a triangle. So here the perimeter of a triangle is the sum of the measure of the three sides. And the formula of perimeter of triangle is Sum of its three sides. 
you simply have to add all the three sides so as i told you earlier three types of triangle on the basis of their sides first was scalene triangle equatorial triangle and isosceles triangle the question is find the perimeter of a triangle whose sides are 9 cm 7 cm and 4 cm so first students you all tell me which type of triangle is this is it scalene equilateral or isosceles yes it is scalene triangle as all the three sides are different so let us find out the perimeter so right here perimeter of a triangle is equal to sum of its three sides and the three sides are 9 plus 7 plus 4 9 plus 7 is how much 16 cm plus 4 cm that is 20 cm so the perimeter of this triangle is 20 cm now second example find the perimeter of an equilateral triangle each of whose sides measures 9 cm so this is an equilateral triangle where all the three sides are equal and the side is given 9 cm either you can add 9 plus 9 plus 9 that is 27 or just to reduce the time we will use the formula that is 3 into sine so let us write the formula for perimeter of equilateral triangle so right here perimeter of an equilateral triangle that is 3 into sine as sine is same so it is 3 into 9 cm 39s of 27 cm so the perimeter of this equilateral triangle is 27 cm and if you have the question for finding out perimeter of isosceles triangle you simply have to add all the three sides given as an isosceles triangle two sides are equal and third side is different questions based on perimeter using formula question number 1 find the perimeter of the square each of whose sides is a bar 16 cm so first we will write the formula of perimeter of the square that is 4 into sin so let us write here formula perimeter of the square is equal to 4 into sin you simply have to multiply 4 into 16 cm i hope students you all know 16 table 16 four is a 64 so right here 64 cm now b bar 21 cm So first we will write the formula then we'll multiply by 4 so right here perimeter of the square is equal to 4 into side that is 4 into 21 cm multiply 4 to the 8 4 once of 4 cm So perimeter of the square is eighty four centimeter. So student C part will be a homework that is twenty eight centimeter. You simply have to multiply by four and write your answer. Question number two: Find the perimeter of the rectangle whose A part length is equal to thirty six centimeter and breadth is equal to twenty four centimeter. So students, what is the formula for finding out perimeter of the rectangle? That is two into length plus breadth. Or 2L plus 2B. So let us write down the formula. So here formula is perimeter of the rectangle is equal to 2 bracket length plus breadth. So here length is how much? 36. And breadth is twenty four. So let us add six plus four ten, three four and two six. So two into sixty centimeter. 
that is 120 centimeter or you can do in another way 2l 2 into l so 36 into 2 or you can write here 2 into 36 plus 2 into 24 so multiply that is 72 plus 24 to the 48 so just add it is 120 centimeter so both way answer is same now B part length is 17 centimeter and breadth is 6 centimeter so write the formula here perimeter of the rectangle that is equal to 2 into length plus breadth so length is how much 17 and breadth is 6 so 2 into 17 plus 6 23 so the answer is 46 centimeter so students so C part will be a homework where length is given 28 centimeter and breadth is 19 centimeter you have to use the formula perimeter of the rectangle is equal to 2 bracket length plus breadth question number 3 find the perimeter of the triangle whose sides are A part 12 meter, 19 meter and 28 meter. So students here unit is given meter. So answer will come in meter. So first we will write the formula. Perimeter of a triangle is equal to sum of all three sides. We just have to add all these three sides. So let us do that. Write the formula. Perimeter of the triangle is equal to sum of all three sides. Sum means add. So here 12 meter plus 19 meter plus 28 meter. So 8 plus 9, 17 plus 2, 19. One carry. 2, 3, 4 and carry 1, 5, 59 meter. Now B part 31 centimeter, 45 centimeter and 68 centimeter. These are the three sides of a triangle. So let us find out the perimeter. Perimeter of the triangle is equal to 31 centimeter plus 45 centimeter plus 68 centimeter. So we have to add all the these three sides. 8 plus 1, 9 plus 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 1 carry. 6, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So it will be 144 centimeter. So, so this C part will be a homework. And the sides are 16 cm, 18 cm and 24 cm. You have to just add all the three sides. Students, that's all for today's class. I hope you all have understood Gulli Ma'am's class. So chapter number 13, part 2, perimeter questions completed. Practice all these questions at home. Now I'll continue in our next class. Do like, share and subscribe my channel. Take care. Bye-bye.